This is where we're at, everyone. Now even car commercials have to be woke propaganda. So this was a commercial that just came out with Brie Larson starring in it. The queenest of queens. Brie herself. Brie Larson. One of the brave people who is leading the modern feminism movement is starring in this commercial. That, of course, has to have feminist anti-male propaganda because that is where we are continuing to go as a culture all men are bad all men are just trying to keep women under their heel and women are just the purest of angels just trying to find their way in this world so let's go ahead and watch this absolutely cringy commercial and then we can talk about it after that so i'm gonna hold on promoting you this quarter cool drop the taco get in the car does this Sentra feel like a compromise to you? Wait, what? The handling, it's good. Mm. I'm just, I'm so tired of this type of stuff. I, I'm just, I'm, uh. Right, no compromise there. Nope. Watch this. Oh, great, great, great. Rear automatic brake. So if this Nissan Sentra isn't gonna compromise, why should you? You're right. So if this car isn't going to compromise, then why should you? talking about her job where her big bad white male boss is completely just ruining her life you're right that a girl the only oh my gosh the cringe 25 seconds and they were able to cram in a feminist message i i am blown away by this i <laughs> This is the first car commercial that I've seen actually take this type of stance where they really push the woke narrative. Maybe there are some others out there. If there are, then please let me know. I'd love to check those out as well. Um, but man, this is the first I've seen an actual car commercial being used in this way. And of course, Brie Larson has to be in it. Of course. Because what do you think of when you think of Brie Larson? Is it is it, you know, how, how great of a person she is or just, uh, you know, how, how she's a very uh, humble fun attractive person or is it all of the garbage that garbage that she's been saying over the years about how men are bad women are the best women are the greatest women need to continue to have more and more opportunities aka uh special treatment um that is the brie larson that unfortunately we have continued to see uh expose herself more and more um, and that's the sad thing about this is that as you're watching this commercial, you can see that Brie Larson actually has hold. some charisma here. She actually shows a little bit of energy and spunk and that's all fine and dandy. But why do they have to go with the feminist, ridiculous, woke uh, route with this commercial? Why? Like Brie Larson, the, the sad thing about Brie Larson is that she could be a likable person. She could be someone that I could see myself appreciating. But the fact of the matter is that she is too worried about being an activist for uh, people that she thinks are way worse off than she is. Cause apparently she thinks that she's some sort of white female savior and all of the minorities need her help in order to advance anywhere in life, which is just a pathetic way of looking at minor minorities. But that is literally what she thinks. If you look at any of her interviews when she was working on Captain Marvel, that's exactly the type of mentality that she has when it comes to minorities. Um, I, I'm just... Like, they, they could have done literally anything to make this a fun commercial with Brie Larson. And this is the garbage that they decided to do. And I heard that Brie Larson was working on a car commercial. I don't know if this is the first one that she's worked on. But I I, I have seen her uh, doing photo shoots about it. And uh, someone that I that I know said that, that they saw Brie Larson work on a, on a car commercial and stuff. So I guess this is it. And, uh, you know, just she, uh, of course, the big bad mean boss, who is, by the way, a white male, has to tell his, uh, his poor poor female employee employee that he's going to continue to just be a super bad mean boss and then brie larson swoops in tells her to get in she for some reason randomly drives her around and asks her about the car's braking system i guess and then she's like well if this nissan isn't going to compromise then why should you she's like you're right brie you're right and then she goes back to her job and then she's just like, that a girl, that a girl, yeah, girl power. Uh, uh. It's 
sprinkle some fairy dust. Ugh, girl power. Glitter. <laughs> oh, man. It's just ridiculous, man. Ugh. I'm just looking at these comments here. Honestly, it seems very uncharismatic and not compelling to watch, even if she's a chill person in real life, as some have told me, without any of the political craft. That's the thing, though. I, I disagree. She definitely has, like, charisma here, but she's using her charisma in the wrong way. Now, when she was playing Captain Marvel, she absolutely did not have any charisma in that role at all, because Captain Marvel is a garbage character with no energy, no charisma, they were really, for some reason, trying to push that and make that evident that she was a character that did not smile. Especially when the men told her not to. Um, but I, I I disagree with that here. But yeah, like, uh, and that's the thing is that Brie Larson could be a likable person if she just directed herself the right way. Totally anti-male because the antagonist to the female here is male. One woman is anti-male, apparently. Uh, which I don't, I don't agree with that. Wonder Woman is, is totally fine. Um, it's a, it's a great movie and, um, yeah. So anyway, with that being said, let me know in the comments below what you think about this. What do you think about this garbage commercial here? Um, that Brie Larson apparently stars in, you know, battling the patriarchy as she does. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new and I'll talk to you all very soon in another video. Talk to you later. Bye.